Hey guys, welcome back to Two Fat Girls. It's me, Mandy. Um, do you like my hat? Isn't it adorable? Here's a story behind the hat. This is Bug's hat, and she's been wanting one of these forever. She, like, I guess all the kids wear them at school, and they're cool now. So we found her one, and so like since Tess has come, and technically since she's got this hat, I've worn this hat um, like a bunch, and then. Tiffany, I'm so sorry. I'm so tired. Um, Tiffany came this week, and um, she, like I had to go to work at nine. I think it was Thursday. I had to be work at nine, and Tiffany was up apparently at like six o'clock in the morning. And then when I got up at seven, she was sitting at the kitchen table with this hat on, like crocheting. <laughs> So, like, this hat has just been, like, everybody's been wearing this hat. And, like, today, like, I got my tax money back. And whenever I get my tax money, I always give my granny money. Or, I don't, like, give her money, but I always, like, take her shopping and we always go out to eat and stuff. And so, we did that today. And, like, it is so cold and, like, windy here in Kentucky. Like, yesterday, the sun, well, the sun was up for a little bit. And it was really pretty, and it was like 68, and today it's like in the 40s. I can actually look and see. Today is like in the 40s and freaking freezing, and um, like it was, it's 41 right now with the low 28. And like, um, when we got back, I actually, I'll put it right here because I record it just because, you know, whatever, I'm lame, and I record everything because you never know when I want to put it in the video. So I randomly record stuff all the time. So I recorded it, but it was like sleeting. So, like, you know, like little chunks of ice. So, uh, here's that now. Yeah, it's bleeding. Okay. Weigh in. Um, I weighed in this morning, and guess what? Actually, you know what? Because sometimes I feel like you guys think that I might lie to you about how much I weigh, and... A lot of that is just, like, my weirdness. I always think everybody's thinking stuff about me, and they're usually not. People probably don't give, like, two shits about me, but I, you know, whatever. Like, I just, whatever. Okay, so, just, I, like, recorded it this morning. So, here's that clip now. So, as y'all saw... It was 254.8, and last week it was 254.7. So, no, last week it was 254. Point. Last week it was 254.9. This week it was 254.8. So I went down one. I seriously do not know what is up with my body. Like, I don't even know. And, like, my lowest weight that I have ever seen on the scale was in October and it wasn't like an official weigh-in day um which you all know I went and seen the goo dolls in October and so I always call this like my goo weight but like the lowest I've ever seen on the scale is 247 and in October my last weigh-in in October I was 240 I was 249.9 so let me see yeah, we're on So since October, I have been losing and gaining like the same five pounds. So, and now for the past six weeks, yeah, or is it seven? The past seven weeks, I have stayed at 254. That's like with going to the gym and everything. So I think like maybe. I may need to change my eating. Like, like not that I'm going over, like, my Weight Watchers or anything. But I'm eating stuff that I wouldn't normally, that I wasn't eating, like, when I very first started. Um, you know, like, I'll go out and eat now. And I eat, like, when we first started, we didn't, I didn't go out to eat for, like, five or six months. And now, like, I go out to eat and, you know, I'm, dr I'm drinking more soda than I usually drink. I have been drinking like a lot of water, but the soda that I drink diet right, so yeah. I just don't even know what's up. I don't even know what's up. And it's like going to the gym. And then remember I told you my last vlog, like my eyeball was twitching. 
And Ashley told me that, which it's true, like lack of sleep can make your eye twitch. And, <laughs> and it can um, cause you not to lose weight. And I am like serious when I'm saying like, I don't sleep anymore. And it's all started since my back has started hurting me again. And some of it could just be because it's cold. You know, I'm like an old person, like when it gets really cold, my back gets really sore, but like it's been making my leg hurt and it's been, like my hip hurts a lot. And so like when I go to bed, it's hard for me to get comfortable because my left hip hurts so bad. So it's like I toss and turn all night long. Like I'll only be comfortable for like an hour and then I have to, then I wake up and I have to roll over because it hurts. Like it, it literally wakes me up because it hurts. And so then it's like, I don't sleep at all. And like work has been totally insane. Like I seriously think I'm like stressed out and depressed because me and my manager were talking about it. My manager's like, I'm just, you know, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, like we're, we've had two people quit. It seems like every day that I have worked, somebody has called in. And so then we're like busy and, um, I just now remember I did not finish telling you the story about this bear hat. I'll tell you in a minute. Um, like every day somebody has called in and then we're busy and then it's like I don't get a break. I literally stand in the one spot, you know, for six hours or more because there's been days that I've had to stay late because if I leave, well, like let's say for example, okay, where I work, like they time you, like they time your haircuts, they time how long a person waits. They time how long it takes you to cut their hair. You know, they time everything and they want the wait time low. So when somebody calls in, that means you're short a person and that means your wait times go up. And so and it's like some days when it's time for me to leave when my shift is over, there's like an hour wait. And I wouldn't want somebody to leave when I was working, you know, and leave me with all these people and then you feel rushed and you feel pressured and you guys know how it is to, when, when you work and you're under pressure, you know? Under pressure. And um, so, yeah, so I've been having to stand in that one spot, you know, like I get no break. And, you know, some people think cutting hair is like leisure work, and it's totally not because by the time I get home, my ankles hurt so bad and my back hurts so bad and like my brain is just fried. I mean, like cutting hair is a lot of like mental work. I mean, it is like, it is like strenuous, you know, like you, you're making conversation with these people and, you know, like seriously, these people are telling you like their life problems and their life stories and, you know, they're asking you for advice and it's not only just on their hair, you know, it's like when I come home, not only am I like physically tired, my brain is like for ride. But then when I get home, it's like, I think, okay, I'm going to come home and I'm going to take a nap. And no, I come home and I'm like wired, okay? And then when it comes time for me to go to bed, I don't want to go to bed because now it's like I associate my bed not with sleeping. I associate my bed with pain. So I don't want to lay down and like have my leg hurting and have my hip hurting, you know? So it's just like been a long cycle of not sleeping for probably two months. And that's no lie. So today, like, tell me y'all's opinion on, like, sleep aids. Like, okay, this little girl was telling me um, that you can buy, like, this herb, you know, it's like herbal stuff, and it's called Calms, and she said it's really good for anxiety, which we all know I have issues with that. So, and she said, like, you know, you can take it and it'll calm you down. And she's like, not necessarily, like, it won't calm you down when you know your anxiety is really high, but it'll calm you down when, you know, I don't know. She explained it to me really smartly and I've already forgotten it. But she also said that, like, you know, it's it won't, like, make you go to sleep, but it will relax you and you can sleep. But I bought some sleep, it's called Sleep Aid is what I bought. And it has no pain reliever in it because whatever. But this stuff that I've got right here, it's like, it's just a sleep aid. It doesn't contain any pain reliever and it's a safe non-habit forming. 
So, and it's a nighttime sleep aid, is what it says. So, I'm going to try this tonight. I'm going to try and go to bed early tonight. We'll see how this stuff works. If not, I'm going to try and get the comms. But I've looked for the comms and I haven't been able to find it, like, here, around here, like where I live. Like, you know, I'll have to go someplace cool, like Louisville, to probably find it. But, yeah, to finish telling you a story about my hat. Um, like, I took my granny shopping today. Remember I told you that I took her shopping? And to, like, you know, pick out her, you know, whatever. And, um, like, the wind is, like, insane and crazy. And it's cold. So, like, it is, like, destroyed my hair. My hair looks like crap underneath this hat. So, like, hmm. Bug's hat is sitting right here. I'm going to put this hat on from a vlog. And it's so cute anyway. And then I bought Bug a hat today. And it's an elephant. And it's like the, like these things right here. Like they hang down really low. And like you can. um like a folder. And like you. Like these things right here. They hang down really low. And you put your hands in them like mittens. It's super cute. But. You know, I'm already a fat girl, so I don't want to put the elephant on. But I'll be a pain up there. Yeah. So, is that all I wanted to talk to you about? Speaking of which, that last video that I did, a few people asked me if I've, like, taken my inches measurements. Yeah. I totally have. And I have them uh, written down somewhere. Um, so, sometime this week, I'll, like, re-measure myself, and I'll tell you. I have it. It's not in this book. I think it's in my other book. I'll have to find them. But I, I know I measure myself because it was when I was doing that one diet, like the cabbage soup diet, and I wanted to see if I would lose inches, and I never re-measured myself. Also, the giveaway winners, I we totally finally sent them packages out. I've had them wrapped up for forever. But I'm awful at getting to the post office. And Tiffany said from now on we can't do giveaways no more because she said we'll never put them in the mail. But we'll totally have more giveaways. We'll just try and put them in the mail sooner. But we put them in the mail Wednesday. They were in the mail Wednesday. So, yeah. You all should be getting them soon. And let me know if you get them. And that way I know it made it there okay. And, yeah. So, I guess that's it. I'll see you guys later. And, um... I like this hat. I enjoy it so much. Okay. Bye, guys. I'll see you next time. Look, just for you, Gemma. I flipped it on my 80s channel and they're playing Why Snake. Oh, he's such a sweet.